Welcome to Coastal Carolina University. As we celebrate today's occasion, we would like to ask that each of you silence all mobile phones and other electronic devices. For your safety and the safety of others, please do not block the aisles and remain in place until the conclusion of the ceremony so that the final student receives the same acknowledgement as the first. Thank you for your cooperation and helping maintain the safety of everyone present this evening. Family members, friends, and esteemed guests, please stand if you are able for the processional and national anthem. Coastal Carolina University faculty are led by Haley Woodleaf. Coastal Carolina University department chairs and special program advisors are led by Michelle Akinjobi. Today's platform party is read by, led by Rob Young, faculty member and carrier of the University Mace. The platform party is comprised of university administrators and special guests.
Coming to the lectern is Michael T. Benson, president of Coastal Carolina University. Not sure if I should stand on this or not. Okay, we'll go like that. All right. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Coastal Carolina University's 2023 Honors Convocation Ceremony. Please, if you will, remain standing, if you're able, for the national anthem led by Joseph Segnet, winner of the Margaret Mullis Prize for Voice. Thank you very much, Joseph. If you would, please be seated. This afternoon, we recognize exceptional academic accomplishments and contributions to the Coastal Carolina community. Presiding this evening is Dan Ennis, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Provost Ennis. Thank you, President Benson. The students we recognize today have attained laudable records of academic achievement. At the same time, they've contributed to the quality of our academic community. They have involved themselves with their peers, with the faculty, with academic programs, and in the community in ways that move Coastal Carolina University toward increased excellence. As you recognize our honored students, please join me in acknowledging all Coastal Carolina University students. The first students we recognize this evening are those who have, who have demonstrated exemplary performance in their chosen majors. Annually, a single student is selected for each academic program at the university and this student represents outstanding academic accomplishments and has contributed to the overall quality of the program. Printed in your programs, you will find a biography of each one of these students which lists more of their achievements than we have time to share with you this evening. These students embody excellence in a variety of ways, from groundbreaking research to student organization leadership to professional internships in their fields. I encourage you to read the biographies of these truly outstanding Coastal Carolina University students. At this time, I invite, I invite Colleen, Dean Colleen McGlone to join President Benson and myself to introduce the outstanding students selected by the faculty from the Conway Medical Center College of Health and Human Performance. Dean McGlone. Thank you, Provost Dunst. The first student I'd like to award tonight is being honored for their outstanding achievements in the CMC College of Health and Human Performances graduate program. I'd like to begin by offering congratulations to Carrie Rosick, outstanding students in the Master of Science in Sport Management program. Right. 
Terry Rosick is from Greencastle, Pennsylvania, is earning a Master of Science in Sport Management. She is currently the Senior Women's Administrator and Associate Athletic Director for Student Athlete Enhancement at Coastal Carolina University. Following graduation, Rosick plans on continuing her current role with the university. The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Conway Medical Center College of Health and Human Performances undergraduate degree programs. I'd now like to offer congratulations to Alexis Coleman, outstanding student in exercise science. Alexis Coleman is a native of Columbia, South Carolina, earning a Bachelor in Science in Exercise and Sports Science. Upon graduation, Coleman plans to further her education by beginning her doctoral program in physical therapy at High Point University in May 2023. Congratulations to Diana Hernandez Rodriguez, outstanding student in health administration. Diana Hernandez Rodriguez is a native of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is earning a Bachelor of Science in Health Administration. Upon graduation, she intends to pursue a master's degree in business administration, specializing in health or business analytics. Congratulations to Madison Candler, outstanding student in nursing. Madison Candler is from Chicago, Illinois, earning a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. She is currently working at Conway Medical Center as a res registered nurse on the surgical unit. Chandler's future plans include continuing to provide direct patient care as a nurse and potentially pursuing graduate school. Congratulations to Jessica Cedinho, outstanding student in public health. Jessica Cedeno is a senior from Conway, South Carolina, majoring in public health with a concentration in healthcare administration. After graduation, she plans to attend graduate school and study healthcare and administration. Congratulations to Chelsea Jamison, outstanding student in recreation and sport management. Chelsea is from Richboro, Pennsylvania. During her last three years, Jamison was the head manager for the Coastal Carolina women's basketball team. She is planning on pursuing a law degree after graduation. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dean Erica Small to join President Benson and Provost Innitz to introduce the outstanding students and recipients selected by the faculty in the E. Craig Wall College of Business Administration. The first two students I'd like to award are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Wall College of Business Administration graduate programs. On behalf of the Wall College, it is a pleasure to offer these students the recognition they deserve. I'd like to begin by offering congratulations to Trenton Friedman, outstanding student in the Master of Accountancy program. Trenton Friedman from Surfside Beach, South Carolina is earning a master's degree in accounting. He is currently working on passing all sections of the certified public accountant exam. Upon graduation, Friedman will be moving to Charlotte to pursue a career in public accounting with Elliot Davis. And congratulations to Lena Perigini, outstanding student in the Master of Business Administration program. Lena Perigini came to CCU from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania in 2019. After graduation, she will enroll at Penn State University to, to study corporate innovation and entrepreneurship and compete as a member of the Penn State volleyball team to take advantage of her COVID year of extra competition. Thank you. 
The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Wall College of Business undergraduate degree programs. I'd like to offer congratulations to Carl Curtis, outstanding student in accounting. Carl Curtis grew up in Tampa Bay, Florida area. Curtis has interned for the past two years at Smith SAP CPAs in Myrtle Beach. Following graduation, he plans to pursue his CPA licensure and continue working in the public accounting field. Congratulations to Michael Reese, outstanding student in economics. Michael Reese is originally from Long Island, New York, but has lived in Myrtle Beach for eight years. He is an economics major with a minor in actuarial science. After graduating, he plans to work as an actuary in the insurance industry and eventually pursue a master's degree in economics. Congratulations to Bailey Ruff, outstanding students in finance. Bailey Ruff hails from Laceyville, Pennsylvania. Following graduation, she plans to return home and start her career working with Child Hunger Outreach Partners, a nonprofit focused on eliminating childhood food insecurity. Congratulations to Erin Malone, outstanding student in hospitality, resort, and tourism management. Erin Malone from Santee, South Carolina is a hospitality resort and tourism management and marketing double major with a minor in information systems technology. After graduation, she plans to pursue an MBA with a focus in accounting. Congratulations to Leah Tashian, outstanding student in management. Leah Tashian is a senior from New Jersey, double majoring in marketing and management with a concentration in human resources. After graduation, Tashian will join Verizon in their human resources leadership and development program in June. She will continue her education at CCU as an MBA student. And finally, congratulations to Jessica Nicosia, outstanding student in marketing. Jessica Nicosia is a marketing major and originally from Hudson Valley, New York. In May 2022, Nicosia began an internship with Garden City Realty as their multimedia marketing intern and has continued this internship through her final two semesters. After graduation, she will be relocating to Charlotte, North Carolina to begin her professional career. And now Dean Chad Leverett joins President Benson and Provost Dennis to introduce the outstanding student recipient selected by the faculty from the Gupta College of Science. These next two students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Gupta College of Sciences graduate programs. It is with sincere pleasure and pride that I award the following students. Congratulations to Zach Zoer, Outstanding student in the Master of Science in Coastal Marine and Wetland Studies program. <laughs> Zach Zor, originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, joined the Coastal Marine and Wetland Studies program after receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Science, specializing in ecosystem restoration from The Ohio State University. He presented his research at the annual American Geophysical Union Fall Conference and will present at the International Union for Quaternary Research Congress this summer in Rome, Italy. Following graduation, he plans to pursue a PhD to continue research on the sustainability and development of coastal wetland systems. <clears throat> Our second graduate award for outstanding student in the Gupta College of Science goes to James Olavencia, 
Outstanding Student in the Santee Cooper Master of Science and in Information Systems Technology Program. James is from Long Island, New York, but has been a resident of Merle's Inlet, South Carolina for the past six years. After leaving law school, he received his teaching degree from Coastal Carolina University, has been a teacher for Horry County's schools for the past three years. Olavencia is interested in network security and artificial intelligence and hopes to apply the knowledge of what he has learned in the MSIST program in his future career path. Congratulations. The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Gupta College of Science undergraduate majors. I'd like to now offer congratulations to Ms. Emma Kiner, outstanding student in applied mathematics. <laughs> Emma hails from Long, South Carolina and is an applied mathematics major with a minor in statistics. After graduation, she plans to further her education and graduate school with a possible concentration in dynamical systems. Congratulations to Grant Cage Mitchell, outstanding student in applied physics. Cage Mitchell from Long, South Carolina is a legacy student. Both his parents and his sister graduated from Coastal. After traveling through Central America in a converted Sprinter van, he plans on pursuing a PhD in environmental engineering. Congratulations to Tyler Riley, outstanding student in applied statistics. Tyler Riley, originally from Steubenville, Ohio, is a local to the Grand Strand. He is a double major in applied statistics and political science. After graduation, Riley plans to go into the field of data analytics. Congratulations, Anna Tingler, outstanding student in biochemistry. Anna Tingler is a biochemistry major from Hurricane, West Virginia. After graduation, she plans to pursue a PhD in biomedical sciences. Congratulations to Matthew DeFritis, outstanding student in biology. Matthew is a biology major from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. He is planning on earning a doctorate in microbiology or molecular biology and pursuing a career in biomedical research. Congratulations to Austin Heffling, outstanding student in computer science. Austin is a computer science major from Northport, Washington. After graduation, he plans to pursue a career in software engineering and related fields. Congratulations to Juliana Davis, outstanding student in engineering science. Juliana Davis is an engineering science major and applied mathematics minor and will graduate as part of the HTC Honors Program. They hope to attend graduate school in a PhD program and continuing doing research in a national lab focusing on renewable energy and sustainability. Congratulations to Elisa Sexton, outstanding student in information systems. Elisa Sexton from Lancaster, South Carolina has spent her time at Coastal pursuing a BS in information systems with a minor in graphic design. Upon graduation, she plans to move to Nashville, Tennessee to begin her career as a consultant at Capgemini. Congratulations to Brianna Thornell, outstanding student in information technology.
Brianna Thornell, an information technology major, hails from Andrews, South Carolina. Upon graduation, she plans to pursue a career in web development. Congratulations to Tiffany McNeil, outstanding student in marine science. <laughs> Tiffany McNeil hails from Guston, Kentucky, and is graduating as a double major in marine science and languages and intercultural studies. After graduation, she will be employed as a lab technician, applying her molecular taxonomy skills in the medical field. Her long-term goal is to work overseas, combining both her Mandarin Chinese skills and her marine molecular ecology skills. And finally, congratulations to Nikki Boone, outstanding student in psychology. Nikki Boone is from Dronten, a town in the Netherlands. Boone is a psychology major with a behavioral neuroscience concentration and a minor in applied mathematics. After graduation, she plans to pursue a PhD in neuroscience. <laughs> Dean Sarah Hottinger will now join President Benson and Provost Ennis to introduce the outstanding student recipients selected by the faculty from the HTC Honors College. The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the HTC Honors College. It gives me great pleasure to first congratulate Caitlin Salino, outstanding student in sustainability and coastal resilience. <laughs> Caitlin Salino from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is earning a bachelor's degree in sustainability and coastal resilience with a concentration in science and ecosystems and a minor in environmental science. Her goal is to become president of sustainability operations for a business and or start her own company. And congratulations to Brianna Mack Bingham, outstanding student in women's and gender studies. Brianne McBingham hails from Frankfort, Kentucky, and is graduating with a double major in political science and women's and gender studies. Following graduation, she will be working in Ketchikan, Alaska for a local business until the fall. <laughs> Dean Holly Tankersley will now join President Benson and Provost Ennis to introduce the outstanding student recipients selected by the faculty from the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences. Good evening. The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences graduate programs. It is with enormous pride that I introduce the following students and congratulate them on behalf of our college. Congratulations to Christy Floyd, outstanding doctoral student in the PhD in Education program. She has defended her dissertation, so Dr. Christy Floyd is a Marine Corps veteran from Crossville, Tennessee. She completed her PhD research in curriculum instruction and assessment with Professor Suzanne Horn, studying the relationship between professional capital, adaptability, and job satisfaction of secondary science teachers. She plans to continue teaching high school science, publishing her ongoing research, and designing online science courses. Congratulations to John Smith, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Arts in Teaching program. John Smith is a native of Terrell, South Carolina, and is working on his fourth college degree following a BS in Physics, an MS in Meteorology, and a BS in Mathematics. Upon graduation from CCU, Smith plans to serve as a high school math teacher in Horry County. Congratulations to Kimberlyn Mendez, 
Outstanding Graduate Student in the Master of Education and Educational Leadership Program. Kimberlyn Mendez is originally from Kinston, North Carolina, but calls Conway home. Mendez has been nominated as the Building Level Teacher of the Year three times and earned her National Board Certification while working with Horry County Schools. Upon graduating, Mendez plans to continue her work with the Educational Leadership Team at Ainer High School. Congratulations to Angelica Rainwater, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Education in Instructional Technology program. Angelica is originally from Chicago, Illinois, and teaches first grade Spanish language, language immersion in Florence, South Carolina. She was voted Teacher of the Year in 2021. After graduation, she plans to continue designing technology-rich lessons in math, science, and social studies that empower, engage, and prepare students. Congratulations to Chris Bonani, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Education in Literacy, Language, and Culture program. Chris Bonani is originally from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. He began working as a special education teacher in 2020 and is employed with Horry County Schools. Chris plans to fur pursue further study towards a doctoral degree in education after graduating. Our final graduate student for the Spadoni College is Je Jessica Baziari, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Education in Special Education program. <laughs> Jessica is originally from Caledonia, Mississippi. She now resides in Seneca, South Carolina with her husband, Joel, and their daughter, Ellie, and teaches elementary art. She has taught art to all grade levels, as well as special education inclusion. She plans to continue serving students in the art classroom as an advocate for special education and inclusion. Our next group of students is being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences undergraduate degree programs. Congratulations first to Hannah Truman, outstanding student in anthropology and geography. <laughs> Hannah Truman hails from Little River, South Carolina. She has completed her Associate of Science degree and is now completing her bachelor's degree in anthropology and geography. She will be attending the Johns Island Field School in the summer of 2023, where she will work on the preservation of historic African-American sites and she will attend Clemson University's Historic Preservation Master's Program in the fall of 2023. Congratulations to Jacqueline Badillo, Outstanding Student in Criminal Justice. Jacqueline Badillo hails from Los Angeles, California, and is a criminal justice major. She joined the South Carolina Army National Guard after high school, and has decided uh, and, and decided to attend CCU in fall 2019. On Thursday, that's today, she was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Army, and she has been assigned to her first choice branch, the Military Police Corps. <laughs> Congratulations to Gabriella Dentino, outstanding student in early childhood education. Gabriella Dentino from Powhatan, Virginia will graduate with a Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood Education. After graduation, she will pursue her teaching career in Horry County Schools. She plans to pursue her master's degree in language and literacy. Congratulations to Alexa Passamonti, outstanding student in the elementary education program. Alexa is from Toms River, New Jersey. She became an elementary education major in her junior year of college. After graduation, she plans on moving to St. Augustine Beach, Florida and teaching a second grade uh, in a local elementary school while pursuing a master's degree. <laughs> Congratulations to Mary Morgan, outstanding student in middle level education.
Mary Morgan from Gaffney, South Carolina is a teaching fellow and earning her degree in middle level education. She plans on teaching seventh and eighth grade math in Horry County Schools. Congratulations to Callie Bryant, outstanding student in physical education. Callie Bryant is from Marion, South Carolina. After graduation, she will be teaching in Marion County in her hometown at North Mullins Primary School and McCormick Elementary School. She also will continue her military service as an engineer officer in the North Carolina Army National Guard. Congratulations to Megan Shute, outstanding student in political science. Margaret Megan Shute from Massillon, Ohio, will be graduating from CCU with a Bachelor of Science in Marine Science, a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, a Bachelor of Arts in Languages and Intercultural Studies, a minor in Asian Studies, and a minor in Applied Mathematics. I'm tired, are you tired? <laughs> Following graduation, Shute will attend graduate school for Energy and Environmental Policy. Congratulations to Adanya Pertel, outstanding student in sociology. Adanya Pertel, graduating with a degree in sociology, hails from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. After graduating, Pertel plans to continue her, her education in hopes of becoming a lawyer or a professor of law. And finally, congratulations to Teresa Antunes, outstanding student in special education. <laughs> Teresa, originally from Fairfield, New Jersey, will be, gradu will be graduating magna cum laude with a Bachelor of Arts in Special Education, multi-categorical. After graduation, she will pursue her teaching career in New Jersey. Once settled, she will continue her education toward becoming a board-certified behavior analyst. Dean Claudia Bornholt will now join President Benson and Provost Ennis to introduce the outstanding recipients selected by the faculty from the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts. The following students are being honored for the outstanding achievements in the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts graduate programs. It gives me great pleasure to award these students for their achievements. Congratulations to Oscar McConnell, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Arts in Communication program. <laughs> Hailing from London, United Kingdom, Oscar McConnell arrived at Coastal Carolina University in 2021. His capstone research thesis focused on the persuasion factors that influence steroid use in gyms. After graduation, McConnell plans to, be to begin a career in sales. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Richard Anderson, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Arts in Liberal Studies program. Richard Anderson was raised in Detroit, Michigan, and graduated from CCU with a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science with a focus in global politics. His interdisciplinary graduate studies combine academic perspectives from both political science and history. After receiving his master's degree, Anderson plans to pursue a doctorate and hopes to become a Foreign Service officer. Congratulations to Danny Ganey, outstanding graduate student in the Master of Arts in Music Technology program. <laughs> Danny Ganey hails from Darlington, South Carolina, and received a Bachelor of Music in Commercial Music from Anderson University. After graduating, Ganey plans to expand upon her experiences as a graduate teaching associate and continue mentoring students within the industry of music technology. <laughs> Congratulations.
Congratulations to Emma Streberger, outstanding student in the Master of Arts in Writing program. Emma Streberger joined CCU's Master of Arts in Writing program in the fall of 2021 and has taught several sections of first year comp competition. This fall, Streberger will be joining the Writing, Rhetorics and Literacies doctoral program at Arizona State University, where she has been awarded a university graduate fellowship and teaching appointment. Congratulations. The following students are being honored for their outstanding achievements in the Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts undergraduate majors. It's my pleasure to first congratulate Aver Starnes, outstanding student in art history and visual arts. Aver Starnes from Florence, South Carolina is earning a Bachelor of Arts in Art History and a Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Art. Starnes plans to pursue a Master of Fine Arts in Painting. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Autumn Belvin, outstanding student in Art Studio. Autumn Cherie Abigail Belvin is from Honolulu, Hawaii, and will be graduating with a degree in Art Studio. After graduation, Belvin plans to pursue a graduate degree. Congratulations. Congratulations to Danira Brown, outstanding student in Communication, Media, and Culture. A communication major with a concentration in interactive journalism and a minor in marketing, Daniela Brown is from Roundo, South Carolina. She plans to pursue a graduate degree in journalism and eventually have a career in the media field. Congratulations, Daniela. <laughs> Congratulations to Leslie Shattuck, outstanding student in digital culture and design. Hailing from Bristol, New Hampshire, Leslie Shattuck is graduating from CCU with a degree in Digital Culture and Design with a Film and Production Studies minor. After graduation, Shattuck plans to pursue a career in the film industry. Congratulations to Evelyn Scott, outstanding student in English. Evelyn Scott will be graduating with a degree in English with a concentration in composition, rhetoric, and linguistics. Upon graduation, she aims to connect with others, get their stories out there, and contribute some of her own. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Tierra Rivers, outstanding student in graphic design. Tierra Rivers transferred to CCU from her hometown Lexington, South Carolina in 2020. Upon graduation, she plans to start her graphic design career through professional internships by using the skills she learned during her time at the university. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations also to Valentina Bermejo, outstanding student in history. Valentina Bermejo from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is a double major in history and language and intercultural studies with a concentration in Hispanic studies. Upon graduation, she plans to apply her passion and commitment for social justice and advocacy by attending law school. Congratulations to Christian Nesheim, outstanding student in intelligence and national security studies. Christian Nesheim from Ashburn, Virginia will be graduating with a degree in intelligence and national security studies. After graduation, Nesheim hopes to pursue a career in the U.S. intelligence community.
Congratulations to Ola Watson, outstanding student in the Bachelor of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies program. <laughs> Ola Louisa Watson lives in Pawleys Island, South Carolina. Majoring in interdisciplinary studies, she has combined coursework in sociology, political science, and history. Following graduation, Watson is considering pursuing a master's degree in her work as an advocate for local human services nonprofit organizations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Jordan Roballo, outstanding student in the Bachelor of Science and in Interdisciplinary Studies program. Jordan Roballo from the small town of Waseca, Minnesota is an interdisciplinary studies major concentrating in marine biology and conservation. After graduation, she will intern with Shark Life Conservation Group in Sotwana Bay, South Africa, and has plans to work with AIS as a fisheries observer before attending graduate school. Congratulations. <laughs> and congratulations again to Megan Shoup, outstanding student in languages and intercultural studies. <laughs> Megan Shoup will be graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Languages and Intercultural Studies with a focus in Mandarin, Chinese, and Arabic, and two, un uh, two, and two different majors, two other majors, as you know. She plans to attend graduate school with a specialty where she can apply all of her abilities and interests. Congratulations to Samuel Hickman, outstanding student in music. <laughs> Samuel Hickman, a native of Conway, South Carolina, is finishing his Bachelor of Arts degree in commercial music and jazz. After graduation, Hickman plans to continue his studies at the graduate level. Congratulations to Joshua Hackley, outstanding student in music education. <laughs> Joshua Hackley is a music education major from La Plata, Maryland. After graduation, Hackley will complete a summer internship at the renowned Interlochen Arts Camp in Interlochen, Michigan, as an ensemble librarian and will begin his career teaching high school choir in August. Congratulations to James Lundy, outstanding student in philosophy. James Lundy, a philosophy major with a sociology minor, is a USAF combat veteran who has traveled broadly. After graduation, he wants to continue to explore ideas, broaden his mind, and be an active member of the intellectual community. Congratulations to Cooper McGill, outstanding student in the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Theater Arts program. <laughs> Cooper McGill hails from Grovetown, Georgia. From 2019 to 20, McGill proudly served as the college mascot, Chauncey the Chanticleer. <laughs> including donning the teal feather several times a week to lift school spirit during the COVID-19 pandemic. Following graduation, he plans to move to New York City and pursue his dreams in theater, television, and film. Congratulations. <laughs> and congratulations to Alexa Castro Giovanni, outstanding student in the Bachelor of Arts in Theater program. Alexa Castro Giovanni hails from West End, North Carolina, and will be graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Theater. After graduation, she plans to pursue a professional apprenticeship program with a regional theater company. And finally, congratulations to Jay Orchid, outstanding student in visual communication design.
Jay Orcutt from Southampton, Massachusetts, is earning his Bachelor of Fine Arts in Visual Communication Design. After graduation, Orcutt intends to pursue a design career in the corporate cosmetic industry. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our outstanding students. Now I'd like to invite Dean Hottinger and Dr. Lewis Kiner, Director of Honors, to recognize students graduating from the HTC Honors College. Is that better? No. Okay. Thank you. The HCC Honors College congratulates the students graduating with university honors. Each student has completed a rigorous curriculum consisting of at least 24 credit hours of honors courses while maintaining at least a 3.5 GPA, including a final honors thesis or project. In this academic year, 106 students have graduated from the Honors College, earning an average GPA of 3.83. Tonight, we recognize students graduating in spring and fall of 2023 with an honors college certificate and medallion. Rebecca Alls. <laughs> Alyssa Antelak. <laughs> Michael Audi. Nicholas Aversano. <laughs> Olive Ayres. <laughs> JC Ballard. <laughs> Allison Bain. <laughs> Brianna Barnes. Madeline Bartosh. <laughs> Abigail Beatty. <laughs> Jacob Baracol. <laughs> Abigail Brown. <laughs> Danera Brown. Mallory Brown. <laughs> Cheyenne Butler. <laughs> Kayla Butts. <laughs> Lauren Carroll. <laughs> Alexa Castro Giovanni. Jessica Cedeno. Addison Clary. Tyler Kataya. Mia Detoli. Juliana Davis. Matthew DeFreitas. Georgia Dellinger. Connor Denny Libert. Cindy Din. Kaylee Dorman. Clark Dotson. 
Abigail Duncan. Nathan Easterling. Trenton Eden. Heath Erdos. Gregory Fackler. Hannah Flick. Zara Fowler. Nicole Franz. Trinity Gehring. Finn Gillette. Rebecca Harbin. Catherine Harrell. Emily Hira. Leah Jackson. Imari Jones. Emma Taylor Hope Kiner. Amber Ketchum. Meredith Lalamia. Riley Lindner. Zoe Lyons. Noel McGann. Mitchell McGuire. Carson Mickey. Charles Mina. Cage Mitchell. Nora Maurer. Carolyn Murray. Caitlin Nielsen. Julia Oates. Haley Oldfield. Rosalind Owens. Adanya Pertel. Jordan Ray. Grace Richa. Tyler Riley. Davidra Robinson. Bailey Ruff. Madeline Schütze. Megan Shoup. Christian Simmons. Savannah Simpson. Lindsay Seitz. Margaret Smith. Trevor Stevens. Miles Terullo. Jennifer Terry. 
Anna Tingler. Emily Trimberger. Nicholas Urbanic. Thomas Veggie. Amanda Wade. Caitlin Weinstein. Aaron Wells. Jingle Wells. Jerry White. Austin Williams. Ashley Worley. Kyle Yalk. And Madeline Zimmerman. Congratulations to all of our students graduating with honors. Let's give them another round of applause. Now we will celebrate the exceptional work of our students in fellows and scholars programs. In doing so, we also recognize all of the work that goes into mentoring and advising these students. The Each One Teach One Entrepreneurship Institute Brown Scholars are Coastal Carolina University undergraduates who mentor students the organization serves. Representing the Wall College of Business and the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences, they are selected for their social, emotional, and educational aptitude. Focused on motivation and education, Brown Scholars deliver instructional workshops and facilitate interactive activities that develop entrepreneurial acumen, financial literacy, leadership abilities, life skills, and technological expertise. On behalf of Matthew Gilbert, director of the Each One Teach One Institute, I will now introduce the Brown Scholar graduate and invite him to the stage to be recognized, Christian Grissett. Brown scholars leave CCU having contributed valuable mentorship to future teachers, scholars, and leaders. Thank you, Christian, for your service to the Institute. The Dyer Fellowship engages students in research to solve public policy problems in their fields of study and to prepare them for careers in public service and academia. The fellows are a multidisciplinary cohort chosen from across all of the colleges on campus and represent some of our brightest and most talented students. Fellows work directly with faculty mentors and Washington-based practitioners to develop solutions to the problems that face our country, state, and nation. On behalf of Jacqueline Kolowski, director of the Dyer Institute, I will now introduce the Dyer Institute graduates and invite them to the stage to be recognized. I invite Jessica Cedeno, Caitlin Celino, Connor Denny Leibert, Keegan Gregg, Diana Hernandez Rodriguez, Brogan Hurd. Avery McElwain, and Tyler Riley. These students are leaving Coastal with the knowledge and skills to go into the world and find public solutions to public problems. The students who cross this stage tonight will be pursuing advanced degree programs and have received financial awards to support their studies.
Select students have been named Jackson Scholars by the Jackson Family Center for Ethics and Values. The purpose of the Jackson Scholar Program is to assist students to develop into future leaders who have a strong foundation in ethics and a clear awareness of their own values. Jackson Scholars cultivate and promote awareness of the importance of personal and professional integrity. On behalf of Jelena Oxley, coordinator of the Jackson Scholars Program, I will now introduce the 2023 Jackson Scholar graduate and invite them to the stage to be recognized. I invite Nicolette Hare. Rebecca Miles. Maxwell Pate. And Adonia Pertel. Congratulations to the Jackson Scholars. The Swain Scholars have been established through the generous donation of Mr. Kenneth Swain. Students are selected to be Swain Scholars through a very competitive process. These students have worked with Coastal Carolina University faculty and community agencies to research health-related issues and implement community health programs. The Swain Scholar Program is both a scholarship and a credit-bearing program. On behalf of Sharon Thompson, coordinator of the Swain Scholars Program, I will now introduce the 2023 Swain Scholar graduates and invite them to the stage to be recognized. I invite McKinley Chapman, and Trinity Gehring, Congratulations to the Swain Scholars. The Teaching Fellows Program is a scholarship program funded by the Center for the Educator Recruitment, Retention, and Advancement. The program supports high-achieving South Carolina high school students who wish to pursue a degree in education. Following graduation, scholarship recipients must teach in a South Carolina public school for a minimum of three years. The Coastal Carolina University Teaching Fellows Program welcomed its first cohort in fall 2015. The program provides opportunities for teaching fellows to receive professional development as well as serve in leadership roles. On behalf of Teresa Gibbons, Director of the Teaching Fellows Program, I will now introduce the Teaching Fellow graduates and invite them to be recognized. I invite Emily Brock. Kylie Brown. <laughs> Callie Bryant. <laughs> Savannah Funderburk. <laughs> Katie Ganey. <laughs> Hannah Hall. Alicia Horn. Sarah McKenna. Megan Morgan. Mary Morgan, excuse me. Macy Squires. Brianna Stewart. and Mason Tyler. Congratulations to the Teaching Fellows.
The Wall Fellows Program is uniquely designed to prepare top, top students across all colleges of Coastal Carolina University for high-level careers in major U.S. and international organizations. These students are chosen from a rigorous application process in the second semester of this sophomore year. Wall Fellows have developed a laudable tradition and commitment to developing leadership skills and providing service to the community. On behalf of Jay Page, director of the Wall Fellows Program, I'd now like to invite the following Wall Fellows to the stage to receive their medallions. I invite Shelby Ankowitz, Lauren Bromley. Maeve Brady. Abigail Brown. Raleigh Cook. Nathan Cook. Jennifer Lewis. Nicholas Urbanic. Congratulations to the Wall Fellows. The reputation of Coastal Carolina University is advanced by the presence of national honor societies on campus. Students admitted to these societies have excelled in the classroom and displayed campus leadership. Your program lists all the honor societies and the members of, that will be graduating this year, as well as their advisors. Please take time to look over their names listed in your program. These students certainly deserve recognition. Congratulations, honor society members. The Distinguished Student Award is the premier recognition Coastal Carolina University faculty can bestow upon a student. Each college has selected one outstanding student from the major awards that we have recognized this evening. Four of these students will receive a gift of $100 each. As I call your name, please come to the stage to accept your award. Alexis Coleman for the Conway Medical Center College of Health and Human Performance. Alexis is a native of Columbia, South Carolina, earning a Bachelor of Science in Exercise and Sports Science. She has researched and published throughout her time at CCU, and she presented at the SEA-CSM conference this spring in Greenville, South Carolina, with Professor Timmy Rotarius. Upon graduation, Coleman plans to further her education by beginning her doctoral degree in physical therapy at High Point University. For the E. Craig Wall Senior College of Business Administration, Leah Tashian. <laughs> Leah is a senior from New Jersey, double majoring in marketing and management with a concentration in human resources. As a junior associate of the Kobe Institute, she completed several consulting projects prior to being promoted to senior associate and ultimately associate director, running daily operations for the program together with the executive director. After graduation, she will join Verizon in their Human Resources Leadership and Development Program in June. She will continue her education at CCU as an MBA student. For the Gupta College of Science, Grant Mitchell. Cage Mitchell from Long, South Carolina is an applied physics major. Prior to landing a paid NASA internship, Mitchell conducted research on engineering ways to passively filter microplastics out of the environment. His plan after graduation is to drive through Central America in a converted sprinter van and then pursue a PhD in environmental engineering. The 
For the HTC Honors College, Caitlin Salino. Caitlin is from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is earning a bachelor's degree in sustainability and coastal resilience with a concentration in science and ecosystems and a minor in environmental science. While she plans to apply to her teach for her teaching certification to become a high school science teacher, her long-term goal is to become president of sustainability operations for a business or to start her own company. And now, the outstanding student for the Spadoni College of Education and Social Sciences and the Thomas W. and Robin W. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts is also this year's winner of the University Distinguished Undergraduate Student Award. The student will receive two plaques and a gift of $500. I invite Megan Shoup, winner of the 2023 University Award, to the stage. This student not only demonstrates the academic rigor of a tremendous scholar, but a true love of learning. A triple major in marine science, political science, and languages and intercultural studies, with minors in Asian studies and applied mathematics. She studies both Mandarin and Arabic, and was the recipient of the Taiwanese Ministry of Education Huayu Enrichment Scholarship for Chinese Language Study in Taiwan. She's been described by faculty as a once-in-a-decade type of student and she's only just begun. She's been accepted by the master's program in environmental policy at Duke Kushan University in China. This prestigious research university has an acceptance rate of 8%, and the environmental policy program is ranked in the top three in the world. Congratulations, and thank you for the valuable research and work you've done at CCU. As Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Yvonne Hernandez Friedman will now introduce our Student Government President. It is my honor to introduce our Student Government Association President, Gabrielle Ryder. Gabrielle Ryder is a sophomore sociology major with a criminology concentration and Spanish minor from Western Maryland. She has spent her high school and collegiate career advocating for the student voice in many different spaces. Whether it's in front of her local board of education or here on CCU's campus, Gabrielle is a champion of the student voice. She is excited to create opportunities for student leadership on campus through her participation as student body president. Gabrielle is an outstanding student leader who has been present and active in enhancing the campus community through her service, dedication, and talent. It's leaders like Gabrielle Ryder that help their fellow students feel empowered and inspired to create change in their communities. Please give a warm welcome to Gabrielle Ryder. The Distinguished Professor of the Year Award recognizes excellence in teaching. Chosen by the students, this honor is awarded to a faculty member who is dynamic in the classroom, makes themselves available after class, and cares about the whole student experience. At this time, I would like to invite the 2022-2023 Distinguished Professor of the Year Award winner, Dr. Drew Kurlowski, to join President Benson on stage. Dr. Kurlowski joined the faculty of Coastal Carolina University in 2015 and is an associate professor of political science. He received his PhD in political science from the University of Missouri and his MA in, in government from the University of Virginia. His current research and teaching interests focus on campaigns and elections, election law, voting behavior, political parties, and American political thought. 
Dr. Kurlowski demonstrates compassion and a true love for teaching by fostering a supported and empowered community within his classrooms. His students have noted that they feel respected in his class and that the content is interesting and the lectures are inspirational. They also find him to be hilarious, a great quality to have in keeping students engaged and excited for what's next. Along with his teaching, he's shown that he wishes to, to help develop the best opportunities our institution can provide to its students through his service. He is the parliamentarian of Faculty Senate, now chair, co-director of the Cincinnati Center, and director of the American Studies Program. He is fully embedded within and dedicated to our campus community. Since he arrived here at CCU, he has been a tremendous and positive influence on his students, helping them to grow their agency, not just as college students, but as agents of change who can impact the world with their choices. Thank you, Dr. Kurlowski, for all that you do to support students. Coastal Carolina University's Undergraduate Research Initiative is a resource for support and promotion of undergraduate learning and faculty-student collaboration through research experiences and the dissemination of research outcomes. I would like to invite Dr. Anelia Barnes, Director of Undergraduate Research, to present the awards for the Undergraduate Research Competition. It is my honor to announce the winners of the 2023 Undergraduate Research Competition. With 113 research presentations, including 53 oral presentations and 60 poster presentations, representing 29 different majors, this year's competition was impressive. First place prizes were awarded in two categories. When I announce your names, please make your way to the stage. The first award category is for the best oral presentation which goes to Madeline Bartosh. <laughs> Madeline is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and she is a psychology major with a forensics concentration and a biology minor. She's also a member of the HTC Honors College. Since her arrival at Coastal Carolina in fall of 2020, she has been named to the President's List four times and the Dean's List once. She has also served as a member of the Executive Board to, of the Honored Student Council, and upon graduation, Madeline hopes to pursue a graduate degree in either psychology or biology. The second award category is for the best post presentation, which goes to Georgia Dellinger. Georgia Dellinger is a marine science major from Lincolnton, North Carolina. Since arriving at Coastal Carolina in fall of 2021, she has been named to the President's List and the Dean's List and is awarded the Presidential Scholarship. Georgia has also been accepted to attend the Field Methods in Oceanographic Data Analysis course at the Scottish Marine Institute, for which she was awarded the Gupta College of Science Study Abroad Scholarship and the HTC Honors College Global Engagement Award. Alongside her studies, she has been a student researcher in the Coastal Geosystems Laboratory. After graduation, Georgia will continue her education here at Coastal Carolina University as a master's student in the Coastal Marine and Wetland Studies program, for which she has been awarded a graduate assistantship. Please join me in congratulating Madeline and Georgia on their outstanding achievements. Honored students and faculty, I offer my hearty congratulations to you and your families on behalf of the entire campus community. As we recognize your honors and celebrate your accomplishments, we too share pride in your achievements. This weekend, you will be recognized as Coastal Carolina University graduates. I encourage you to wear the medallion you have been given today as evidence of your successes. Now, I ask everyone to please join me as we applaud all of the students recognized here this evening.
I want to add parenthetically, we just finished two days of meetings with our Board of Trustees, uh, two long days, and two of our board members are here tonight. I'd like to ask them to stand and please be recognized. First, Sherry Johnson. And also, Dr. Orrin Smith. Thank you all for being here tonight. Please stand, if you are able, and join in singing our alma mater, and remain standing for the processional. The words are printed on the back of your programs, and thank you again for your attendance here tonight. Thank you. 